Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlawan.com and I am back with another video on SQL Server 2014 interview questions. In this video, we are going to discuss how to remove duplicate records from a database table. I already create a post on this in my blog and I am going to share this link and this link is available in the description of this video. So before understand how to remove duplicates first consider this scenario I have a database table in database table name color table and color table contains two column first is ID and second is color name as per my requirement I have to remove duplicates and ID column is contains unique records and color name contains duplicate records so how to remove duplicate records from color name columns for achieving this goal I am going to show you two method I am not going I am not recommending the first method if it required you can use the first method but the best method is the second method so for C the first method control tab and this is my first method my table is color table and see I have duplicate records in color name black 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 and ping 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 uh, let's see the result go So we have to remove this. The simplest method is method 1 and in this method we are going to use a new table to remove duplicates from my original table. So first create a new table with blank records okay, where 1 equals to 2. okay in this example I am using temporary tables if you want to know what temporary tables how to use temporary tables refer my other videos now in my new table I have zero records in this table we are going to insert unique records for achieving this simple I am using distinct keyword so C this sorry this select statement returns only unique records and this unique records I am going to insert in my new table so execute this insert command and my new table contains unique records this is one method and first method uh, now extra effort in this method we have to drop original table and then we have to rename our new table now second method before explaining or before showing the query of second method I am going to show the concept behind the query symbol let's consider this example uh, this is ID column sorry this is ID column and color name this is ID column and color name I divide the rows in color name groups and in each group I assign a unique row number for each record so in this table I have two records for or two rows for black color name I grouped rows based on color name and assign a single or unique row number to each rows now to remove duplicates from this is easy where I have row number greater than 1 
simply delete those records so if I remove this record and this record then my table contains unique records so let's see the SQL query again same table select star from color table now I am using row number to partition my records based on color name as I told I am going to group records based on color name and then assign a unique row number in each group so let's see the output for this query and here is the output so for black I have four records and I assign a unique row number in the group black similarly I done for group pink it contains nine records and I assigned a unique row number for each row in group pink now as I told you we have to simply delete where row number is not equals to 1 so for this I am used common table expression if you want to know what is uh, common table expression and learn about common table expression refer my videos you can got your answers so simply group your rows or records and then delete those records whose row number is not equals to 1 execute this query and 23 rows affected check your output now my table contains only unique records okay thank you for watching this video and see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and share your experience interview experience with others thank you and bye